It's day two at the 2012 Winter X Games from Aspen, Colorado. A winter storm passed through last night and the town and mountains are covered with a fresh blanket of snow. Today's schedule jam-packed with competition and superstars, including Mark McMorris and Sebastian Tutan, competing in both men's snowboard slope elimination and snowboard big air finals. Simon Dumont in men's ski super pipe elimination and Maddie Shafrick in women's snowboard super pipe finals. First up, men's snowboard slope elimination. Mark McMorris, Sebastian Tutan, and Seppi Smith qualified first, third, and sixth respectively. McMorris scored a 95 on his best run. And I pretty much did the run I really hope to do for this, so I can't really complain. I'm, uh, I'm just freaking out, I'm so happy. Next was women's snowboard slope finals, where Jamie Anderson got the highest score on record in her event and picked up her sixth medal in this event. Annie Rukayarve of Finland captured the silver. So cool to got second. It's like more than dream coming true. It's more than that. New Year No Limits world record holder Levi Lavalli, 2012 snowboard street gold medalist Forrest Bailey, Yuri Padlachikov, a.k.a. iPod, and Sean Pettit all stopped by the Red Bull Energy Station to sign autographs and take pictures with fans. It's just cool that anybody is interested or, or excited to follow what you're doing. And I mean, to me, that's the biggest high five a guy could get. Upstairs, Red Bull athletes took advantage of the Performance Center. Athletes could do various activities to help them prepare for their practices and competition, including warming up on stationary bikes, stretching, and massages. Aspen stands at just shy of 8,000 feet above sea level, so technicians were on hand to provide oxygen and monitor their saturation levels. We set this center up here for one simple reason. We wanted to make sure the athletes had everything they needed to prepare themselves for their events and the competition. And what we're trying to do is make sure that when they go up there, they've got every tool they have and they're ready to do what they do at their top level. As the sun went down, the men battled in ski superpipe elimination. Eight-time X Games medalist and six-time medalist in the superpipe, Simon Dumont qualified eighth for tomorrow's finals. Simon talked about his new look. I started growing it for the whole charity uh, Movember thing, and then uh, somebody's like, hey, don't shave it till you podium. And like I had such a good year last year, podium pretty much like six out of eight events. So I was like, oh, no problem. Got injured a couple contests. It just uh, hasn't gone my way yet. And hopefully I can get on that podium so I can get rid of this ugly stash. The final two events of the day were women's snowboard super pipe finals and snowboard big air finals. Maddie Shaffrick gave it her all with the heart of a lion, but it was Kelly Clark who repeated for gold. Ever since I was a kid, people would call me Maddie Lion. It's a lion, not a cat. Rawr! After a great showing in the men's snowboard slope elimination, Mark McMorris, Sebastian Tutan, and Seppi Smiths returned for the snowboard big air finals and did not disappoint. All three qualified for the finals and battled it out, while the crowd eagerly anticipated the triple court. Torstein Hordmo delivered and got a perfect score of 50 on his last attempt. But it was Mark McMorris' consistency and triple that won the gold. Yeah, I'm really stoked, man. I uh, landed a few runs and didn't really expect it, but I managed to end up on top of the podium. So I'm a happy camper, man. Sebastian Tutan also reached the podium with the bronze. That's all the action from day two at Winter X Games 16. Saturday's competitions include men's ski super pipe finals, ski big air finals, and snowboard slope style finals.